Hi and welcome to next tutorial. In today's lesson we'll learn how to recreate this very cool and simple looking animation using Adobe Illustrator and After Effects. So anyways guys, let's jump in. So the first thing that you'll need to do is you'll need to go to freepick.com and you'll need to find your scene that you want to download. Just make sure you hit download and then you can open up the Illustrator file in Adobe Illustrator. So once you open it up into Illustrator, what we need to do is we need to break apart all of these layers. So what we are going to do is first unlock any layers that you don't need and then just start to get rid of some of the stuff that you don't need. So we're just going to expand all of these things and we're just going to create a whole bunch of layers and we're going to go through each and every one and we're going to see what we need and what we don't need. So th this layer over here which is text we can get rid of it easy. This uh, clipping mask layer we don't need it so we're just going to get rid of it. But over here we have some trees so we do need that so I'm just going to drag that to the top and I can see that my trees are in there nicely. The next two layers are snow which I will need so I'm just going to drag them both in. Then we have some more trees gonna drag that in and I'm just gonna keep on dragging all of the stuff that I will need so we've got some extra kind of water over here and we've got some more over there and if you need to make some more layers just go over here and press that plus button so that's a reflection we will use that we've got our main water body over here and then we have our mountains now in the mountains we're not going to animate them so I'm just going to put them all on one layer and then finally the last layer is going to be the sun and then we will have that background. So the rest of the stuff we can just delete and just drag to the trash can. So once we've done that all right, we need to save that and we need to import it into After Effects. So now we're in After Effects. So the next thing that you need to do is you need to import your file and you can do this by going to import file and then you want to import the composition and you can leave the footage dimensions just like that. So now once you've done that you need to double click on this down here and what we need to do is we need to change the composition settings. So we're going to turn it into a full HD document. So 1920 by 1080. Just going to press OK. Now it's made everything smaller. So what we need to do is we need to go to new null object and we are going to grab all of these layers and just grab this and parent them to the null object. Now we can press S on our keyboard for scale and we can bring it up until it just fits just right so something like that cool and so the last thing that we have to do while we're here is we need to make sure we check this box to continuously rasterize so all you need to do is highlight all your layers and then just click on that button now I'm just gonna trim this work area probably to about five seconds and then I'm just gonna right click and trim comp to work area now that's looking pretty good but what we need to do is now we need to start renaming um, all of these layers. So there's a lot of layers in here. So what we need to do is just find out what the layers are. And then you, all you have to do is just press enter on the keyboard. And then you can write what the layer is. So now I'm going to do this for the rest of the layers. So bear with me. So now we're going to do some animating. So the first thing I need to do is I need to go to the snow layer and I need to press P on my keyboard for position. Then I need to click on the stopwatch here and I'm just going to move this keyframe because that's going to be my final keyframe. But then I'm just going to and make sure that you're on the first keyframe here and I'm just going to drag it until it's nearly off the screen. So now I can see that the snow is falling and I can actually turn that keyframe into an easy ease keyframe. So now when I play it back, it starts to fall and then it gets, you know, falls down as the scene continues. So I'm going to do the same for the next snow layer. I'm going to press P on my keyboard for position. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I'm at the start, press on the stopwatch and then I'm going to move that right to the end and then I'm just going to move that 
until it's off the screen. So now if I play that back, so now I have two sets of snow falling down and that's looking pretty good at the moment. Okay, cool. So now we're up to animating the trees. What we need to do is make sure we're on the trees layout. We can go over here and grab the puppet pin tool. And what we are going to be doing is we are going to be setting some points to lock down this, this whole piece here. So make sure that you get this area as well. And then I'm just going to put some points at the tops of the trees. And these four points are going to be how we are going to actually do the animation. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to move that to the left slightly. I'm going to move that forward in time till about halfway. And then I'm just going to grab them and move them again. And then I'm going to go to the end of the clip and I'm going to move it back. So now if you've done that correctly, now you have some slight movement in the trees and that's looking pretty good already. So now we we're going to repeat the process for the next lot of trees. So we'll go over here and we'll make sure that we click on the layer. We grab our puppet pin tool and we just want to lock this down. So we're just going to add some points down there. We'll just put some down there as well. And now we're going to put the points on the tops of the trees. So again, same thing. I'm just going to start with the trees going one way. Make sure you select all of them. Hold shift. So I'm going to just move that over slightly. Go to about halfway. And then go back the other way. And then when you get to the end, we'll go back to something like that. So now we've got two sets of trees moving and it's looking pretty good. And we're just going to repeat the process again for the other trees. So again, same deal. We will get the, this tool, the puppet pin tool, and we're just going to lock this down. Now we need to put a few more points over here just so that this stuff doesn't actually move. And then I'm just going to put some right at the top. Make sure that I hold shift to move this around. Go to the start. We are going to move it to the right to about halfway. Then move it over and then move it back. So now we've got some more movement there and it's looking pretty good. You know, if you can change the movements between trees, it probably looks a little bit better. But that's good so far. So now I'm just going to do the last set of trees and then I'm going to do those far trees as well. Cool. So that's looking pretty good. We've got all the trees done. The next thing that we can work on is the reflection and we can use this really cool technique which is using the ripple effect. So all we need to do is make sure we're on the reflection layer. We need to go to effect, distort and then ripple. And we just need to put the center of the ripple probably at the middle of the water. We're just going to change the type of conversion to symmetrical and we are just going to increase it. But I think just to add a small little kind of reflection wiggle in the water, I think that looks pretty cool. I'm just going to drop this down to probably about 18 and I'm just going to bring this to 16 as well. All right, so that's the reflection done. The final thing that we have to do is we just have to um, animate this sun. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to make sure that I'm bringing the sun and making it smaller. All right. And then I'm just going to grab it and just put it over here. And all I'm going to do is set a position keyframe for this. So I'm going to set the stopwatch on at frame one. And then I'm just going to have it move to, you know, this side of the mountain. So cool. So now the sun moves as well with the snow and the ripple and it's, it's looking pretty good. 
So the final thing that we can do now is we can now start to actually add some overall scale to all of this. So what we can do is we can highlight all these clips. We can right click and go to pre-compose. And then we can add some overall animation by going in here and pressing scale, setting a keyframe, just putting it at 105 and then moving to the end and then putting it to 100. And so now it kind of zooms in as well. So you've got movement happening everywhere and it looks pretty, pretty good. So anyways, guys, I think that's it for this tutorial. Thanks for watching and I will see you next time.